Also, I just like, re-looked at the messages and I'm missing high dosage of vitamin D3. Fuck, wait. And also, Wi-Fi effect on the human. Uh, yeah. So let me just give a quick summary on those really quickly. I actually recently studied vi high dosage vitamin D3, I think less than five days ago. So let's get into that one. Um, you know, two pages in notes too. So um, the average vitamin D levels are low in the average person, I believe. Uh, 50,000 to 80,000 IU uh, is the, a well, that does not look like, seem like that's the average. Um, hold on, because it's like bullet points, as you can see, and I have to translate this, it's like in a different language, uh, so give me a second. Um, so high doses, or vitamin D3, let's just talk about that first. Um, you can make it like your body makes it. Sunlight plus cholesterol equals vitamin D3. And vitamin D3 is used by every cell of your body and can possibly cure, or high dosage vitamin D3, can possibly cure autoimmune diseases. Um, it is fat soluble and can be too toxic when it is too high, or it can be toxic when it's high. But that level of, that like super high level, high dosage vitamin D3 is very hard to get to, um, very hard to get to. Uh, so low levels of vitamin D3 have been associated with Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, anxiety, and depression. Um, so 100 nanograms per deciliter, I think NG-DL, I think that's nanograms per deciliter, is optimal. And 30 NG-DL. 30 nanograms per deciliter is adequate, which is like what most people have, what I think doctor's recommendations. 100 is optimal for lifetime longevity and lifetime health, or just your body's health. Um, high dosage vitamin D3 is correlated with better health. Um, and yeah, I think that was it. Um, there. I think th there is some more stuff that I would like to have done research on looking back at it now. Um, but get yourself in the sunlight. I believe this might be wrong. Um, that um, people with a lighter complexion get 25,000 IU per 30 minutes, I think. Oh, wait, no, I need to think about this one. I need I need to look back at the studies. Actually, I, I want you to look it up. Because um, I have, like, zero internet out here. And also, you know, have a little action step or something. But I think it was something like uh, people with lighter complexion have to get, like, 15,000 or 25,000 IUs of vitamin D3. Uh, people with darker skin complexion, um, like you or me, get like 3,000 or 5,000, I think. Um, but yeah, do some more research into that. Uh, the other one was Wi-Fi's effect on the brain. Um, and I, I was just also listening to Andrew Huberman today talking about, or it was Humza, but it was, he was reacting or something like to Andrew Huberman in like the Adonis Academy. I'm not in it, but I just found a recording. Um, and I already knew this, but your phone produces EMF. I'm sure you already know this. Uh, so when you have it in your pocket, it decreases testosterone. Um, yeah. Oh wait, did he also say vitamin E? I think he said vitamin E as well. Um, so vitamin E found in vegetables, oils, fruits, and grains. Uh, don't take it with, it was like war, war tin or something. Uh, probably, you, uh, you, you'll be okay. I think it was like a certain molecule. And then when you mix it, like bad stuff happens. Um, your body can make it. It's an antioxidant. It's stored in the muscle. And uh, I can't even read that. And, and the fat it is a possible treatment for Alzheimer's um, atherosclerosis. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, I think... Yo, nothing about it.
atherosclerosis, I think that is the one, is the number one leading cause of death. I think that, on, on that or ap ap apathy, I have to look at my notes, that, you need to fact check me on that one. Um, and something, nocturnal muscle cramps, I think it was the other possible treatment for. Um, what the heck? Synthesis of DNA and RNA, um, a deficiency, what, I think I put deficiency shortens life, um, okay, protects your muscles, fat soluble, T-I-E-M, what does that even stand for? Okay, I'm gonna have to redo notes on that. Um, anyways, vitamin E is probably good for you. It's good for you. Um, and found in fruit, in vegetables, oils, fruits, and grains. Your body makes it. Um, so yeah, I did some more research into that as well. Um, and let me get into the last one. Okay, Wi-Fi is affecting the human brain. So. It causes oxidative stress, sperm damage, and neurosympathetic. Okay, wait, let me try and pronounce this correctly. Neurosympathetic a trick. Neuro -sy Neurosycentric. I'm gonna spell it out. N E U R O P S H Y C N I A T R I C, I think. Um, which causes causes cell death, cellular DNA damage. I actually took really clear notes on this one, so I'm proud of that. Um, endocrine changes, so disruption, endocrine structure, endocrine system, which makes your hormones like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, um, calcium overload, um, and I think I put something with electromotive, like all this stuff relates relatively. Um, EEG changes, uh, which changes the brain's activity. Wi-Fi can change the brain's activity and can pre prevent brain um, conditions, especially, we know. Oh yeah, it changes your brain activity that prevents brain conditions especially epilepsy and seizures so you there's probably a higher chance of wi-fi like or there's probably a chance that wi-fi is affected like wi-fi affecting you correlates to epilepsy and seizures um uh so uh, also causes vgcc i think voltage gated calcium channels um yeah so and i think also electromotive force emf oh, yeah. emf obviously um turning off wi-fi reduces emf exposure wi-fi also contributes to radio frequency electromagnetic radiation um which is rf E M R. Such a fun word to say. Radio frequency electromagnetic radiation. Um, Two point forty five G H Z of Wi Fi exposure affects the male reproduction system. Um, so this is sperm count, mobility, DNA integrity decreases testosterone levels, increases apple. I think it was like apop. No, A P O P T O T I C apothic cells something like that apothic tick cells um so basically in summary uh wi-fi's effect on the brain can and does or uh, alter your dna i believe um and mess up your testosterone sperm count mobility um your just your endocrine system um probably correlations between epilepsy and seizures um and it's just not good for you cell death um 
and I think I wrote here the entry before that, entry number 34, or entry 4, um, which was maximizing longevity health. Uh, and it was talking about, I was writing about apophagy, or a autopathy, yeah, autopathy, which is the process of um, removing old cells with new ones. Wait, I, I just realized that had nothing to do with EMF. Anyways, um, don't be next to too much Wi-Fi. Don't put your phone in your pocket. Um, yeah.